Hello my hungry friends! Today we're making Polish cream beet soup. Barszczyk czerwony. Welcome back friends! This is Polish Kitchen and my name is Anna. And today we're making a delicious, classic, creamy uh, beet soup. Polish beet soup. Barszczyk. Um, we, this is a relatively simple soup and one that I, takes me back to my grandma's house and I'm sure you can say that about many dishes. Um, and I've been getting a lot of messages and comments from you, from you saying that uh, my recipes remind you of your, uh, your home cooking, your grandma's cooking or your grandparents cooking, which I appreciate because this is where this is all coming from. It's coming from the heart so you know uh, it's it's real home cooking so I'm glad you're here thank you for watching thank you for supporting our channel and my merch shop you're gonna need one of these aprons for today's video because beets we know about beets uh, so here we go we are making a creamy beet soup today one that doesn't really have any uh, or we can't see any ve veggies floating in it other than the beets and how we make it is you can, the recipe that you'll find on my website, posturekitchen.com, uh, starts with making a stock. And we're going to need some chicken and some veggies, uh, and that's going to boil down to make a beautiful uh, chicken stock. I'm skipping forward today to all, also show you an option to, you can purchase a pre-made stock or you can use chicken soup that you've made on Sunday to make this soup. So I've made my stock ahead of time and that's heating in my pot here and I also want to show you that you can use the remaining of, not remaining I guess, veggies that you use to make your stock in the soup because as we all know Poles don't waste food and we will use it in uh, the next dish if we have not used it in the first one. So I have uh, carrots, <clears throat> this is a uh, celery root and parsley root and what I'm going to do with this, my stock is heating. Uh, I've removed the bay leaves and the peppercorns and allspice out of it but I'm going to put the veggies back in here uh, and then I'm going to blend it and it'll do a couple things. One It'll give us more flavor, which is always good. Uh, two, it'll thicken the soup. And three, we will not have thrown out all the vegetables. You can also use these to make uh, Polish veggie salad, sałatka jarzynowa. Just cool your veggies, cut them up, add some other stuff to it, and recipe you know where. Uh, so we're gonna blend this in a second. And then <clears throat> another simple thing with this recipe that you can make ahead of time, is as you're making your stock, uh, you can take uh, beets, regular red beets, just wash them, cut the stems off of the couple, come with stems, put them in the oven at 350 Fahrenheit, 180 uh, Celsius. For if you're cooking smaller ones, it'll be probably about 35 minutes. Larger ones will take a little bit over an hour. So you're gonna roast them in the oven. I normally do it, I actually did it in this container. I uh, just put whole beets in here, no salt, no liquid or nothing. I covered it with tin foil and then they roasted in the oven. Uh, and then I just, they cooled, I peeled them and then I just shredded them on a regular vegetable shredder. And this is what they look like. So you can do, also do this ahead of time. So then when you're ready to make the soup, you're, you're halfway there. And I encourage you to um, do this part on your own. Don't buy the canned beets because they don't taste how they're supposed to. It just, it, it just does not do it justice. Make your own. You're going to see, you're going to find out the real flavor of beets. They, it's kind of like the color brown <laughs> to me. <laughs> I think it's it's an earthy flavor. It's an definitely. earthy flavor, it's but a rooty earthy flavor. Yes, but it's it's rich, and I'm saying the canned beets taste like. Oh oh oh! Yeah. 
Okay. Canned beans to me taste like color brown. I don't know if you can follow me that down that path, but uh, I encourage you to roast your own. If you don't want to roast, you can boil them also. Just uh, boil them unpeeled, and we do this to keep the color in. We don't want our soup turning brown or our, our beets turning brown, and this is the key to making a good beet soup, and I'll teach you a trick. Okay, so once we've had our beets roasted and shredded, uh, they were roasted unsalted, uh, just like they are, just nature. Um, so we're gonna continue with our soup. I have put the veggies in here, and I'm gonna turn on the heat a little bit. I could probably take it off the heat, but I'm just gonna blend these in here with my hand blend, what do you call this, stick blender? Yeah, immersion blender. Immersion blender. <laughs> and And if you're using a box stock, you can just skip the veggies. I mean, you can also add, bo boil some carrots and parsley root and celery root, just a piece and add to it. That's up to you, um, but you don't have to. This is just so we don't throw away any of our ingredients that we already have. Okay, so this is blended. I'm just gonna give it a little taste to see if it needs salt. Maybe a little salt. And this will also depend kind of on how you made your stock and how much uh, salt you put in ahead of time. So this is ready. Do you have a question? Yes, I do. So you've made bars before, beetroot soup. Yeah. And so what's the difference between that one and this one? And what kind of kindness are there? with all the beet groups and the suits. Uh, it's a good question. Soups. So there's several versions of beet soup in Poland. As you know, Poles love beets and there's just tons of different variations, but there's a few uh, versions that we all make that are similar. So this is this one, creamy beet soup, and this one is served with potatoes. Then there's a version of uh, beet soup called barsh ukraiński, which means Ukrainian style barsh, uh, which will have uh, pieces of green beans in it and potatoes and um, veggies will be cut up in it. It's, it's a lot more meaty and it's uh, made with uh, pork. Pork ribs are in it to make, uh, used for Pork ribs are used to make the base of that soup. And then there's uh, barsh, the chilled barsh called chłodnik, which we only eat in the summertime. Um, also made with roasted beets like this, but mixed with um, buttermilk. Uh, and we eat that chilled. And then there's also a Christmas Eve version of beet soup, which is made vegetarian. Uh, and we use wild mushrooms for the base of that uh, beet soup. And that one we normally serve clear, meaning that it's just for drinking or there's nothing in it other than dumplings that we put that in it. That one's my favorite. Yeah, we, we drink that one a lot out on town. You can just buy a cup of it while passing somewhere. Um, when done well, it's really, really good. So there, I guess so. there's several versions of barsh, and if you know one but not the other, try different versions and see maybe you'll like this one better. I like this one because one, it's just beets. Beets are, are this is the star of the show. You can taste it, they're creamy, and potatoes are served with this soup, and I just love potatoes, so to me, this is the winner. Okay, so is this on still? Yeah. So now that our stock is ready, we have uh, veggies in there. I'm gonna add our shredded beets. And the key now, to, as I said before, to, for the soup to not turn brown is to not boil it. So by the time you're adding your shredded beets, the soup should be pretty much ready. You don't wanna put the beets in and then start boiling the soup and uh, making sure the veggies are soft. All that is done by now. Now we're just heating up um, the beets that we put in here. 
right after I put the beets in, you gotta put some vinegar in, and this will help preserve the color. Like a tablespoon? Um, so it, it says in a recipe how much to put in. It, with Polish vinegar, it's a little bit more potent. It's, our vinegar is 10%. I believe American uh, vinegar is 4%. And the recipe that's written on there is based on American vinegar. So uh, just link right below the video. And now we have our beets in, vinegar's in, important ingredient, cream, uh, not sour cream, sweet cream and it'll make our soup taste even better. And I'm adding three quarters of a cup. And this will bring the color to nice kind of pink. Dark pink, and give it a taste. And sometimes if uh, it doesn't all work out, I add a little bit of sugar. But with having the carrots in there and the parsley and everything, I don't, it brought a little bit of sweetness to the soup. So I don't feel I need to do that anymore. And my soup is ready. I'm gonna turn it off. Don't boil it. If you can, make it a, do I have bees on my face? No, it's not okay. bees on my face. <laughs> Pussy came to visit. <laughs> She's like, I smell food. <laughs> Uh, if you can make this a little bit of ahead of time, go ahead and just let it sit on your stove and let the flavors come together and marry and then reheat it, but do not boil it. So then to serve our soup, this is what my dad's family used to do. They would, so I have some mashed potatoes in here, which no big deal. You just boil some potatoes, leftovers are just fine. And this is what makes what takes our soup from normal soup to, oh my God, that tastes like my grandma's soup. I have some uh, sauteed onions and it's just onion, onion sliced up with, uh, and that sauteed uh, with a little bit of butter. And we put this on top of our potatoes as garnish. And already, I could just eat this for dinner, <laughs> right? Yeah. And I have, yes. <laughs> uh, and then we take, and then we take our soup, and this is gonna get scooped right into the bowl next to our potatoes. And again, this is what makes this soup taste like grandma's. And then, but wait, there's more. When you eat it. You take a little bit of piece of potato or a lot of piece of potato with the beet and then that's how you eat it. Don't burn my face. Don't burn your face. Mm. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm done. This is it. You have to try the soup. Roast your beets. Take your time making the stock. Be the chef at home. You will not regret learning how to make this soup. Tell me in comments how it turned out for you. Come and see us on Friday when we close our kitchen and we take you out to dinner or to eat. We'll see how that goes with, with current world climate. But thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week. And it's much Mm. All right, don't eat it all. Why? But it's so tasty. <laughs>